All right, let's react to EA Sports FC 24 career mode. The trailer just dropped. I haven't seen it, so this is going to be a blind reaction. And as someone who's played career mode since FIFA 12, I'm very intrigued to see what they're going to be doing with EA Sports FC. Of course, before we get into the reaction, don't forget this video is presented by Betway. Now, of course, remember, I haven't seen a single bit of footage regarding career mode. So this is going to be me reacting to career mode for the first time. So let's see. Let's see how it looks. Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 deep dive series. I'm Shep. Yep, nice. I'm joined by Alex and Pete from our EA dev team to talk about everything that's new in manager and player career. How are we feeling? Okay. Hey, Sheldon, very, very excited to be here today. Yeah, lots of exciting features to go over. So, I'm already understanding that basically parades are in EA FC 24. That's what I'm taking away so far after 19 seconds, but let's just keep it rolling. A lot more presentations as well. I know that control is a big theme hmm. this year, and there are so many changes in this space, separating manager career and player career. So, let's okay. start with manager career. How are people able to lead their club and tactics in new ways in FC 24? Well, at the heart of many successful clubs, you'll find a manager who has been given the power to shape the tactical style and bring his own vision to life. Interesting. And that's how manager career feels in FC24 as well. We've just looked at how... Pe that sounds basically the same as career mode from last year. What's the big difference? I mean, yeah, you can change tactics. That's a common theme. You can pick real managers. As Is that... Ancelotti and Klopp and all the real world managers. How do you actually play... What they're trying to deliver across their club oh spectate mode i assume I, su I i imagine this is spectate mode which is actually i think that might be a really good idea for just content and simming simming games things like part the bus gang okay oh gang impressing gang impressing is in the game that's interesting I, I do like the font honestly the font is nice a little different i'm noticing here that you have mid novice um direct passing fast build up so not much too many changes in terms of tactics we have tactical vision though um basically it's still the same it's just a different font pressing and giving you the chance to develop them with your team in your own style and once you've chosen that style how will managers shape it and make it their own the best managers in the world rely on a coaching staff to bring their tactics to life so this year we're introducing coaches to help you do the same Coaches will have a huge impact on how well your team learns your tactics and how players will develop. These coaches will provide different bonuses to players to the different um, departments. So attacking, defending, midfield, goalkeeping hmm. coaches, and they'll lead to better boosts for your players' attributes. And they'll can be shifted around as necessary. Having more coaches and, of course, better quality coaches in a given department will actually accelerate the player's development. So if you sign a new striker, you might reshuffle your staff to have more coaches in the attacking department and okay so basically they're giving you more options to develop your players that you sign your youth players etc i like that it does feel like just like added extra menus but i think people have asked you know for actual coaches in the game not just a manager okay like you know we've had scouts yeah we've had scouts for years now but adding more coaches i think that's a good move a step in the right direction for career mode in eafc 24 manage the workload to get the most out of their development they were so good today and give credit to the coach he got his tactic absolutely right here so with all these new coaches it feels like preparation is a big focus of manager career this year so what have you been cooking up on the training ground to give people more control over what happens on match day there are actually three new features for match preparation hmm. training plans pre-match reports and match ready training the first way to make sure your players are playing at 100 percent to keep them sharp the expertise of coaches sets a ceiling of how much of a boost a player can get to their attributes but their sharpness decides how much of this boost they'll actually get game to game training plans are something that the community have talked to us about a lot and we know that we could improve that so we've redesigned them this year to make it easier and make it more okay training plans that's interesting so basically more options to get the most out of your team which is there's nothing wrong with that i think in past fifas that kind of felt a little limited but sometimes it felt like uh, too realistic is that possible some you know I, I i was going back to fifa 13 i was playing around the menus and i found that it was nice that the menus felt more arcadey and more simplistic and were, weren't over complicated so I, I think it would be nice for ea to build out something that's like called classic career mode you know 14 15 vibes fifa 12 
Um, but then again, that might be just a waste of resources for EA. More accessible, so players can actually keep their players sharp, but also make sure they're fit and in top physical condition. It feels like this is really going to be helpful in keeping the team going all year. So how about managing your training on a game-to-game -game level? Well, we're introducing pre-match reports as well this year, so you can understand your opposition. Oh! Play, find ways to tweak your tactics. And Interesting! So if you're playing against Man City, you might not try to have as much possession. And if you're huh. against Real Madrid, you'll want to watch out for pace on the counter. I kind of like that. I want you to be able to use these pre-match reports to understand how they like to play and make a plan for what you might need to do to stop them. That's interesting. I, I do kind of question how much of, you know, maybe the casual player base will actually read these match reports and really care i feel like a lot of players maybe myself included i just play the same way all the time i don't really change my play style and maybe that's why i lose sometimes to teams like barcelona and real madrid when i'm mallorca right so i i don't know how much of an impact it's gonna have but it's it's different it's it's nice that they're putting a lot more effort into like match reports that's it's different but it depends is it going to be very repetitive are we going to be saying the same match reports for the same teams are they going to cycle through different scripts i don't know say the pre-match report is telling you that the other team likes to park the bus you know you're going to need great passing to unlock their defense with match ready training you'll be able to play training drills that unlock one-time play styles for your players to use in the oh so in this case you'd select a drill that focuses on passing and will offer the players involved in that drill some key passing play styles so how much of an impact will this I like that because by the sounds of it, it's given me a reason to actually play these training pa uh, training matches aside from, you know, increasing sharpness, right? Like it's, it's basically saying, yeah, you know, play these training matches and you can unlock certain things for certain players. Okay, that's that's nice. I like that. Have on their performance. This will literally change the game. For example, see how the players cross and head the ball in the training drill? Here's what those same players look like performing the same action. This time in the game oh. with those additional crossing and heading play styles. You're right. You can really see the difference that it's making. So once you get into a game, is there anything else new in manager career? Absolutely. Well, our community has been really... First off, before we get into the next part, that's actually interesting. I like that a lot because if I want one of my center backs to be an absolute, you know, s slide tackling merchant and putting in those crunching tackles like I love to see, I can make that happen. Yeah, I'm going to get more yellow cards, more red cards, but ultimately that's the type of football I want to play, and you can really apply that in EAFC 24. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Okay. We're looking forward to have the ability to spectate matches, focusing on one player or watching the whole matches if you're in the stands or even from the touchline as the manager, and you'll still be able to make tactical adjustments as you watch. Yeah, this looks amazing. We haven't even spoken about player career, so shifting... Now, player career, I know this is an area where a lot of EAFC, <laughs> FIFA fans basically want improvement. They want to make it feel more authentic, more, I guess, not as generic. So let's see what they got. Here's to the other side of the career experience. All right, I want to go be the next club legend for Liverpool. How am I doing that in FC24? I'm glad you had that dream in mind, Sheldon, because that's exactly the type of thing you want to celebrate in player career this year. That's why we're introducing in player career, the player agent. Your player agent will have your back throughout your career. Hmm. You'll tell them where you want to go and they'll give you guidance every oh. step of the way on how to get there. That's nice. I don't mind that actually. All right. Yeah, that advice comes to life as career path objectives. So you have clear targets to deliver on and you can make that move to your dream club a reality. What would some of these objectives look like? So let's say I want... The objectives is a nice touch because it just gives you something to play towards and potentially, you know, grow your player and grow your career. To start in a lower league, but then eventually make it to Liverpool. Your player agent will know which stepping stone clubs you should be working towards and they'll give you certain milestones to help you make those jumps. I also do like that your agent will potentially give you options club options that you can like i said you know, work towards that's i like that you know path of progression they're adding to player career i haven't played player career in years so maybe i'll give it more of a touch uh this time around so if you're a striker that might mean reliably scoring 15 goals a season hit those targets and you'll attract the interest from teams that advance you down your chosen career path his speed of movement and finishing have been brilliant he's certainly going to be difficult to stop today hold on hold on i just want to some ways that we can make 
I'm gonna go back. Let's take a look at this contract here. So earn a new contract. Successful dribbles. Okay, easy. Matches and starting eleven. Um, what, zero to eighteen shots on target. Skill move dribbles. Um, and of course, right here you have contract objectives. Reach all mandatory contract objectives to be eligible for this contract. Wage objectives too, as well. Um, uh, up here it says choose a target club you want to join. At the end of the season, your requested wage will affect it. Interesting. Okay. And then, of course, your recommendations. Now, the interesting part is how does this may turn into like a Sims game where you can actually use these wages towards something? Because it's nice unlocking the wages, but what can you do with them? I think players would like to have options. Let's see. Let's learn. Teams that advance you down your chosen career path. His speed of movement and finishing have been brilliant. He's certainly going to be difficult to stop today. What are some ways that we can make sure that we are going to be hitting all of our goals in player career? Well, we've redesigned player career mm -hmm. personality feature to really focus around play styles that we've mentioned before. As you make the decisions on and off the field. Oh, here we go. To how your player plays here we go. Life. So based on here, you can, you know, donate money to animal shelters, funds, and then you're, you've got heartbeat points. You've got Maverick points. You've got virtuoso points buy it buy a top end bike that will actually incre oh that's cool okay so the money you earn from your wages can increase your stamina by you know buying a bike increasing your training boost um you know order a suit from the top designer i i it, your maverick points go up so buy a treadmill helps you out require okay let's failed yes yeah, so Hold on, hold on. Boom, going back here. You have shopping, decisions, investments. Okay, this is cool. Your player plays on the field. Yeah, so this year, each personality tier will unlock another play style you'll be able to use. And the play styles you have to choose from will be based on what personality type you have. Get to the top tier of a personality and you'll unlock a play style plus. This will take one of your signature abilities to world class. So you'll be able to dribble like Vinny huh. or shoot like Holland. I love that. Really see these play styles come to life. And is this a new camera in player career? Exactly. We really wanted to put the player at the center of attention. So maybe when you decide to take a, an opponent one on one, you now have more immersion in those key moments of the match. All right. And through all of this, we look great. Now, now to be fair, if I wanted to be more imp more immersed in the match, would I want more of a first person? sort of camera I, I don't know if career mode already has that for player but in my opinion that just it feels like another different high-end ang higher angle does that make sense I, I i don't know but i'm liking it so far player career they're giving you different ways to customize your experience as a player that's nice Right on the pitch, the play styles are in full effect, and now we're winning championships, and it feels like we're really celebrating these massive moments. Indeed. We've expanded dynamic moments in player and manager career to include some famous celebratory moments, like a trophy bus parade or end-of-year award ceremonies. Let's celebrate the success of this deep dive. Can I have my eye on that Ballon d'Or? That looks incredible in FC24. Appreciate you taking the time to go over all of these new features in player and manager career. Thank you for having me. So, of course, yeah, Ballon d'Or is in EA FC24, which, you know, that makes sense for these wages. Like, you can buy suits for award ceremonies. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe there's other cinematics that we don't know of just yet. Maybe they there's something else. Like, when, when, you, when you donate to a charity maybe there's a ribbon cutting ceremony i don't know maybe they got that in depth but um it's promising there's a lot more cinematics and my only issue with the cinematics it's not really an issue they look pristine they look clean it's just eventually they're going to get very repetitive so it'd be nice that maybe ea puts in different cinematics to cycle through i guess not to having the same over and over repeat it's like you know you let's say you win the champions league five times in a row you're going to be seeing the same cinematic and I, I don't know if that's if there's a way to make them more dynamic. That probably costs uh, requires a lot of effort on their side from development, so I don't blame them. But this is a step in the right direction. It feels a um, couple different changes within career mode throughout to make it more 
like football manager, I think, with coaches. They didn't really touch on scouting. So I wonder if they just left it alone. It, it feels like they just said, hey, we're going to add coaches and different play styles, which is nice. I think people want that. I think I think people, fans, want ways to change the way they play. Career mode, does that make sense? Maybe I'm just, I'm waffling at this point. Having this. Thanks, Sheldon. And you can check out the rest of our EA Sports FC 24 deep dive series. Welcome to the club. Hmm. That's interesting. As we can see here in the pre-order. Pre-order anything related to career mode, you get access to Nike Ultimate Team campaign. The pre-order doesn't have anything related to career mode. Because I know in past weeks you would get like a future star past weeks past fifas you would get like a future star pre-order the open edition uh to get an untradeable ucl hero item that's really about it i i don't know if there's anything related to career mode in the pre-order um if we're i'm just looking through this you can change your defensive style organize and discipline okay i'm optimistic i think i'm gonna play player career more honestly maybe make a series out of that but so far Looks promising. I think it's potential. So let us know how you feel about EAFC 24 career mode. Do you feel like they've added good changes, more of the same, just more scripts for you to read? Just more, just more extra crap, right? Does this make you want to play career mode more? Is it going to feel more repetitive at times? Just more junk? Sometimes it does feel like EA just adds extra junk and it's like, well, I'm just going to skip through this usually, right? Like, ultimately, I really hope the gameplay does change in career mode because sometimes I feel like it can become too easy, right? I remember I did a career mode with Mallorca and playing against Real Madrid Barcelona was difficult at first, but of course, you know, no surprise, you upgrade your team and the bigger team has become easier, but... Maybe that comes down to me as a player. I don't know. I, I would like more of a dynamic gameplay, but who knows? We'll have to find out. EA FC 24. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below on this career mode. And yeah, I'll say 7 out of 10. You know, player career looks very good. I think there's potential for them to build upon EA FC 24 into future FIFAs. <laughs> future fcs jeez it's gonna get used to that but uh, thank you for tuning in watching this video on the 90th minute presented by betway i'll see you next time